Hey, happy Thanksgiving to everyone. I uh, just wanted to shoot you guys a quick video um, about how to add the start menu to uh, Windows 8, uh, along with maybe something else. Um, something I was thinking about, the power short key menu that not a lot of people are familiar with. So I finally upgraded. I uh, decided to move away from Windows 7 and give a shot to Windows 8. And you'll see that my desktop right now is a Windows 8 desktop. You see when I move to the corner, um, I have the uh, the charms. Uh, bar pop up. So Windows 8 is a corner based operating system where you just slide over to a certain corner and you can access settings, uh, you can access the start menu which uh, is built in here. Um, in addition to that uh, you can go right back to the old-fashioned desktop. So what I have added so far is uh, a start button. Why? Because I do miss the uh, look and feel of uh, Windows 7 actually. Um, not having a start button, I at work I, I kind of got used to it uh, but at home, I want to have the old look and feel of my old Windows. So how did I go about that? Um, now, there's multiple uh, programs out there that do this. Now, what I'm actually using right here is called Start 8. Um, let me just open up my browser. I'll show you guys. If you just Google Start 8, uh, it's a product made by Starduck. It's about 5 bucks. Uh, you get a 30-day trial. Um, some people out there learn to circumvent the trial uh, and just use it. But you'll see here that before Start 8, you just have a plain desktop, no Start button, and with Start 8, it does give you a Start button. Um, so when, when you first log into Windows 8 uh, and you see the whole Metro UI, which is this, you might ask yourself, well, how the heck is this a Start uh, Start button? I don't want to have to go through uh, going to the Charms bar, uh, clicking on, let's say, Search, uh, and then go through all my applications like this. I don't want to do that. I want to have the old-fashioned way, which is just pressing Start, and then being able to access my programs. Um, so Start 8 is great. I, I highly recommend it. I think it's it's the best uh, option, in my opinion, and I've tried all of them, uh, and actually wrote a notepad a bunch of them. So there's a program out there called Power 8. So again, you could just go to Google and put in Power 8, um, and you'll see uh, there is uh, another Start menu replacer for Windows 7, I mean Windows 8, uh, with an integrated inside taskbar. They all look slightly different. This is a picture of how this particular one looks. Uh, you'll see that it looks a, a little more different than the Windows 7 one. Uh, this looks more like native to Windows 7, the the Start 8, which is what I decided to go with. But Power 8 is a nice one. Um, it is free, and uh, you know it, it's again it's a good replacement uh, to have better than nothing. So it's one worth checking out. Uh, moving forward, we have Win 8, which is another one. Uh, just go to Google, type in Win 8, uh, Start, Start button, and You'll see here that there is a website here for it. As a matter of fact, there's a lot of places, a lot of websites that are looking into this because Microsoft hasn't included uh, the Start button with Windows 8. So you can actually download it. So we have a bunch more over here. We have Start 8, which is what I'm using. Another one called Pokey, which is I know is free. I installed it previously also, but I wasn't a big fan of it. Um, so the uh, Pokey Windows 8 Start menu looks just like this. It's a uh, it's a little too much emphasis on the graphics here, um, but you know it's free. Uh, it shows you. It kind of embeds the Windows uh, 8 Metro UI. But Start 8 does the same thing. I mean, if you look at my Start uh, menu now, if I right-click this and configure Start 8, I could say Show it to me in Windows 8 style. And when I press Start, uh, here's my Windows 8 style um, apps. Uh, the start menu and I really don't like this. This is really just jumbled up and I'm not used to it So I'm just gonna go to the Windows 7 style uh, And you'll see I get my very uh, old-fashioned start menu back um, Out there also there is a uh, this start uh, V start actually um, Which is a classic shell again. You could just go to Google this start uh, and it is on sourceforge.net. It is free. As you see, it adds a, a classic start menu button, and it shows you like the old school start menu. Kind of reminds you of Windows XP in a way, um, but I try to really mimic the Windows uh, 7 menu, but not as good as Start 8. I highly recommend it. I mean, it, it, it's really, really good. It really brings back the feeling as if you've never upgraded at all. Um, and then there is Start Menu 7. Start Menu 7 
which is a skinnable. Uh, it's skinnable and you can do multiple things with it. Uh, here's a screenshot of it of what it looks like. You have the old programs, quick start, auto run, and, and then you have uh, the following button buttons for shutting down, restarting, putting the computer to sleep, locking it. Um, again, you have the same thing with the old-fashioned one. Uh, as you see, you have the switch user, sign out, lock, restart, sleep, and hibernate. Um, it's really up to you. It's up to the user's preference. How how would you like to have your Windows set up? Now, I, I believe that in order for you to use your computer, you must be comfortable, right? Uh, so I want it to be comfortable. So I went and I downloaded Rain Meter, and as you see, I have an uh, interactive uh, clock over here and the weather, and I have the date and time and how many days in the year it's been and what week we're in. We're in week 47, month 11 of the year 2012. Um, you know, so it, it's a, it's a really good thing for you to uh, be comfortable with what you're doing, and I highly recommend downloading this. Uh, out of everything that I basically told you guys, oh, hold on, did I freeze? Yeah, I think I'm clicking around too much, and with screen recording, which is not so compatible with Windows 8, I have a feeling I froze out. Uh, let me just quickly go to Task Manager and figure out what it is that's freezing me. Nope, I have no idea what it is that's freezing me. <laughs> I was pretty weird. I just got like totally frozen. Uh, in any event, um, there we go. Task Manager in Windows 8 looks very, very cool, actually. I happen to really like it. Uh, you can see here that I'm using 1.8 gigs out of my 8 gigs. Hmm. I shouldn't be freezing. I think I'm clicking around too much and the screen being recorded may be freezing. But oh yeah, so the start uh, task manager looks really, really cool in Windows 8. I happen to really like it. Uh, you can control your startup over here, uh, control what starts and what doesn't start. You can disable things. You know, MS Config is no longer what it used to be. You can now do everything directly from the taskbar. Uh, with the processes, it's pretty much the same way. They give you a really, really cool um, idea of what is using what, how much CPU is being used. Uh, your total uh, processor memory, how much your actual RAM is being exercised, your disk, and your network. Uh, and you can just right-click certain things, and you can end task, just like the old-fashioned way. And you can still access it over here in the taskbar by going to Task Manager. Um, right, so what I really wanted to emphasize on is um, Start 8. That's It's really, 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 really my favorite one out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Out of 6 different uh, Start menu uh, buttons. Start 8 is my personal winner. Um, again, you can download it directly from Starduck, uh, S-T-A-R-D-O-C-K, Starduck.com, um, and they have it available here. They have a lot of software, actually. Um, but yeah, so it, it's extremely popular, and it's very, 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 very cheap. Uh, and there's a 30-day free trial, and like I said, uh, some people had already learned how to kind of go around the trial or kind of live with it um, in a way. But I'm not going to get into that part, um, you know. But it's it's a very 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 cool uh, program. You can customize it fully and uh, different start buttons. You can have a, have a little flag. You can have like a little icon of a tiger or you know whatever you want. And they have uh, millions of screenshots and different scenarios of how it can get used. Um, another thing I wanted to discuss is uh, a really cool power key. If you hold down the Windows key, you know the one that shoots up the start menu, and you hold it down and you press X along with it. Uh, you'll get, uh, you know, a really quick uh, shortcut bar, shortcut bar for Windows 8 that allows you to do a bunch of things, uh, saving you time. So you can right away uninstall programs and programs and features, uh, check your power settings, event viewer system, device manager, disk manager, computer management, command prompt, uh, and you can even run command prompt as administrator with one click. It's very, very cool. Uh, you have access to your task manager, control panel, file explorer, search, and the old-fashioned run box. Uh, very, very cool. So how did I get to that menu? It's, I just wanted to stick this in here. The Windows key that you have now, you press it and you hold down X, the, the, the letter X, and it brings that up and you can just immediately click on something. Um, you know, it's, it's a really, really hot shortcut. And even the print screen now in Windows has now changed. Instead of pressing just print screen on your keyboard, you will hold down the uh, Windows key and just hit print screen. And you saw my screen just go black for a second. Um, that's because it just took a picture. So it took me a second to figure that out because I take a lot of screenshots. You see, I took a picture of my screen. Um, and usually I do it with just holding down print screen, but in this case you have to hold down the, shor the shortcut uh, Windows key, uh, shortcut plus the print screen button. 
and you're able to do that. Um, okay, so that's that's really what I wanted to to put out in this video. Uh, I t I, my previous video on Excel, I, I wanted to tell people. I mentioned that I'm going to make a video on how to add the start uh, button over here. So it's very, very cool. Windows 8 is very, very nice, a very, very nice operating system. Um, I don't really use the Metro uh, style, um, but, you know, it, it's nice. They made it look like a really big phone in a way. It's cool that everything is moving around. Uh, but again, always and forever, the desktop will be um, a place of work and, you know, having fun and whatnot. Um, today is Thanksgiving, so I want to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving. Um, you know, stay safe, eat good, and uh, thank you for watching my video and my videos. And subscribe if you haven't. Um, trying to come back into making more videos. I just made a, a video recently of uh, Excel 2013. Very, very nice video. Uh, also, thank you for the enormous feedback on my Excel videos and my Outlook videos and all the other things I'm making. I'm making an array of videos, and people that uh, email me and message me, I try to make videos to uh, accommodate their requests. Uh, so again, thank you for watching. I truly appreciate it, uh, and happy Thanksgiving. Bye.